Many, if not most people, are scared of stray dogs. Even a small puppy is enough to send some people running. In a place where people are surrounded by dogs since childhood, they have no better understanding of dog behavior or interacting with a dog than if they had never met a dog before in their life. Then there are the dogs. Most are friendly, if a little bit shy. But some seem to just come out of nowhere and act super defensively, even when someone's just minding their own business. So how did this happen? It starts, as always, at the beginning. A child sees their parent react in fear to a dog, and then that child learns dogs are scary. The parent can even act aggressively towards that dog, throwing rocks or sticks at them, and that child learns this is the correct behavior towards dogs. A puppy comes up to a person who has learned this, wagging its tail. Remember, dogs were bred with the intention of being around people. They want to be with us. So this puppy comes up to the person, and that person throws rocks, chases them with sticks, and gets them away. The puppy then learns humans are scary. That puppy grows into an adult dog that learns if it barks, growls, or lunges at people, they stay away and it stays safe. So now you have an adult dog that's barking and lunging at people and even biting some people. People see that behavior and react with more rocks, more sticks, more chasing, and even trying to hit them with cars. Both dog and human have their belief that the other is scary confirmed. That increases their reactivity, even lashing out at innocent bystanders. And so it goes. The humans get more aggressive, the dog gets more reactive, on and on and on, until we break the chain. Humans have the benefit of being able to think things through. We can stop this arms race between our species. We can do this in three ways. Learn about dog body language and behavior, and learn what to do when a dog becomes aggressive. Put ourselves and our children out of our comfort zone and meet friendly pet dogs. Ask our friends who have pets to keep the dogs on leash at first until we get comfortable. Slowly, we'll get acclimated to having dogs around and become less fearful of them. Make every effort not to show fear or aggressive behavior like throwing rocks at dogs in front of our children. Children, even young babies, can recognize facial expressions like fear and learn from them. We need to stay calm and collected around dogs while our children are with us. If we train ourselves and our children not to be afraid of dogs, we'll also have fewer dogs that are afraid of people. You don't have to love dogs, feed them, or even pet them. But at the very least, we can protect our children by making both humans and dogs alike kinder and more tolerant of each other.